Hello, friends, and welcome to Pause to Pray. It's always good to be praying with my church family. I'm so thankful for you guys. And uh, if you're watching these videos week by week, you might think that I've gone back in time, back to winter. But uh, no, it is indeed a nice, cold, snowy day down here by the river. And uh, the snow is actually, yeah, it's, it's kind of melting. But uh, we have lots of things to be praying for, so let's focus on the things that God's put on our hearts that way and not the weather around us right now. Uh, there's a few things that are going on in our church family. One, I just want to let you know, um, always be praying for the people that you are worshiping with, of course. Uh, there's many different requests that come up, many of which don't actually get shared here because they're things that people haven't asked for us to share in this video. Uh, but there's a few things that I think are... Uh, they're happening. We won't pray for people by name with these, but I know they're happening in multiple families. So one thing going on right now in our church family um, is um, people getting medical results. Okay, there's a few different situations in our church family, um, not all of which are public knowledge, but people awaiting or having received medical results recently from tests. And um, maybe this is something happening in your own family. Maybe it's something you know that I don't know about, and that's fine too, but um, we are praying for your situation, for situation in your family, and for several in the church that are happening right now. So there's people who have received results that they hoped for, results that they haven't hoped for, or who haven't got the answers that they were looking for. So we want to be praying for people who are in the midst of these medical, ongoing, social kind of situations, right? Where Because it's not just medical. It's, it's your relationships with the people around you that are affected by your health or by their health. Um, so we want to be praying for a few situations going on in our church family. Please be praying for those and, and ones you know about as well. Uh, another one is uh, we've got a family in our church that is uh, making a really significant trip back to uh, see family uh, a long way away. And uh, we would just want to pray for blessings on people who are traveling right now, uh, especially for people who are reconnecting with family. Uh, so we want to lift them up. Thank God for the opportunities that we have to travel in this uh, particular day and age where uh, it's so easy uh, to click online, buy a ticket, and fly somewhere around the world. It's amazing. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we pray for safety, and there's always these uh, things that can happen with flights, and they can get changed. And, oh man, just getting to the airport sometimes, we all know that can be a stressful thing. So we want to pray for smooth and safe travels for people. Uh, last thing we want to pray for that just came up to me this morning actually is um, another area church. Uh, it's actually the United Church in St. Mary's. It's going through a really difficult time right now. It just came to my attention that their young pastor, he's my age, uh, his name's Jason, he just passed away from cancer. He's got uh, a wife and a six-year-old child. Uh, so a really tragic situation for the St. Mary's United Church, for his family, for the community around them. And we want to be praying for them. And when we pray for situations like this, we are just reminded of tragic losses within our own church family recently that have touched the Minden family, the Elliott family, that have touched um, friends that we know, like um, um, Heidi and Katie, young family moms that we had been praying for who both had cancer, and, and Tim Aldridge, who we've been pray, praying for, who we had prayed for for a long time. And so it's hard when we hear news like this. So we want to acknowledge that it's hard. We want to pray for the comfort and peace of all who have lost loved ones, um, especially in a young, tragic way like this, um, where there's young kids involved and there's just so many questions and it's okay to have those questions it's okay to go through the questions but we also need to reach out to the only solid thing that we can reach out to and that is Jesus Christ and the hope that he brings that transcends that goes through that defeats death itself so we want to remind ourselves of that hope we want to remind others of that hope because death still comes for us, because we all still die, but Jesus is the one who overcomes even death itself. And that is a hope worth talking about. That is a game changer when it comes to the way we live our lives. So let's pray for these things and for whatever else is on your heart. Let's just start by walking together in a moment of silence.
Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Pour out your mercy on us, we pray today. Forgive us where we are in error. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us far away from temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. God, we praise your glorious name. We thank you for your grace and your mercy poured out on us. We thank you for life again today. We thank you that we have breath to pray and praise. We thank you that you've given us everything we need to live in a way that glorifies you today. And though we might not have much, though we might lack things that we desire, God, we have exactly what we need to live for you today. And I pray that you would help us trust you. God, I pray that as we lift up families that are hurting, families like the family of Jason, the pastor of the United Church in St. Mary's, I pray that we would remember that you are the God of comfort who has touched us, and you have comforted us in the past so we can comfort others. I pray that it would change the way that we pray and think about these tragedies. I pray that as our hearts break for what breaks yours and what breaks other people's, that you would make us people who are compassionate and who are kind and who are thoughtful. I pray that you would remind us how to be caring for those around us who are hurting, for the ones we know who are maybe also grieving loss or grieving illness or grieving broken families and situations, whatever it might be. Help us remember to be compassionate and kind to all who cross our path today and reach out in love and care, wanting to be like Jesus to them. Father, we also pray for families right now who are reconnecting, who are traveling to reconnect, and we pray for traveling mercies on them. We pray that you would have your hand on all who are seeking to form strong family relationships and doing everything they can to reach out to others in their family, whether it be to stay close or to tell them about your love, if they're not believers or whatever it might be. God, I pray that you would bless families and bless reconnection with families right now. Whatever that looks like in our families and whatever that might look like for the families who are traveling uh, right now and in the coming weeks, I pray that you would bless them and, and give them joy as they see family and give them joy as they travel and reconnect with, uh, with the past in a good way, in a helpful way. Father, we... We thank you that you have been at work in many of the medical situations that go on around us day by day. Well, in all of them. Um, but the ones we've been praying for, uh, we continue to ask that you would have your hand on a few individuals in our church who have tests, are awaiting tests, have got results from tests that either have been helpful or maybe have been intimidating and a little bit scary. Uh, God, I pray that you would show us as a church family how to take care of these needs when they come up and when we have an opportunity to serve, to make a meal, to invite someone into our house, to encourage them with a word or prayer. Uh, show us how to do that well so that we can bring your blessing to people all around us, um, especially uh, to the ones that you've given us relationship with, of course, uh, our friends and family and neighbors in the church, um, but very much so to those who don't know you and, and make us witnesses of your love and your care as we love and care for the people around us uh, who have needs, who have physical needs, health concerns, and it's a wonderful way for us to reach out and share the hope that you have for them uh, when, when their physical body lets them down. It's frustrating for all of us, but at the same time, it's a way that you get all of our attention when we're confronted with our morality, mortality, and our health. Father, I pray that yeah, as everything else is going on around us in springtime, we're down here at the river and we're reminded of the way that things grow again and things can be renewed and there's always new hope. I pray that you would be filling us up today with new hope for renewal, for new growth, for new, for new generation of, of faith and life and joy in us, especially if we've just come through or are in the, a winter in our hearts still. So God, I pray for renewal for all who are praying with me today. Give them joy and give them new growth and grow their faith, God, as 
because you are the one who gives growth. So we look to you. We pray that you would sustain us and guide us through this day. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, church family, it is always wonderful to pray with you. As always, uh, just stay in touch with us. Send me an email. Send me a text. Call. We can meet. We can talk. We can... We can, we can just pray over the phone, whatever it might be. And of course, if there's any requests, don't hesitate to let me know. And we can have the whole church family praying uh, this way or through the, the PDF email that just goes out to the church family. Just want to put a little plug out for that too. The video is posted to YouTube, obviously. That's where you're watching it right now. But, uh, but the, prayer, uh, the prayer PDF uh, just goes out to the church family. So you could always send in a prayer request just to go to the church family through the PDF. Just, just so you know. But blessings on you. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.